Women tend to be pretty open and they talk to their friends when it comes to questions about sex and relationships. But for men, it can be difficult to have a space to do the same, which is exactly why we're here today. I called in a group of very open guys to bring their most embarrassing sex questions. We're talking about everything that men wanna know, but have been too afraid to ask. Does anyone here have a question that they've been too embarrassed to ask? All right, you would. Yes. Right ahead. Right away, Jeffrey. Yes. Right away, Jeffrey. yes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been like, it's been bugging me because I'm like, I don't know if like other people feel this way, but so I'm uncircumcised. Does that make me more or less sensitive? In many ways, it can make you more sensitive. One, you've got extra erectile tissue. So you have, as an adult male, about 20 square inches extra of pleasurable tissue to play with. When you are uncircumcised, the skin actually also acts as an aid to provide more sensation and pleasure. And your head of the penis is protected all day long so that when you do get it stimulated, it's so much more sensitive. So I think that you've got you got some extra stuff to play with. Man, lucky, oh, dude. Oh, Come on. Oh. 20 inches? What is this? <laughs> so I have a, a curved penis, and um, I was wondering if um, a curved penis is more pleasurable for a woman. Do you get great feedback? Um, well, I, not, not, it was a, not feedback, but... I'm making I, you blush. You're like, I'm not, not. <laughs> <laughs> I get excitement. <laughs> I get excitement <laughs> from people that... Yeah. that you know, figure out that I have a curved penis. They're like, oh, I'm intrigued by this. Let me see what this feels like. So I'm, I'm wondering if women prefer a curved penis over a straight penis. Have you ever seen G-Spot toys before? Yes. So G-Spot toys are usually curved and they've got a nodule on them. And that's because, again, you want that pressure moving forward. A lot of times people think about penetration as in and out, but for women with vulvas, what feels the best is more of like a downward motion. So you're pressing again on that interior wall. When you have a curved penis, you already have that natural motion. So mm. yes, absolutely, it can feel more pleasurable for some, depending on where you're putting the emphasis or focus. Did you know that less than 1% of men have a curved penis so less than one percent yes <laughs> <laughs> all right michael what's your question so i'm getting older right i was curious i'm noticing a lot of changes but i was curious about balls in general mm -hmm. are they just gonna kind of keep going or is it just because <laughs> hang on or is it like when i'm cold it, we all know it kind of goes up but also work out at the gym and i'll see older guys and they're, they're just like it's like it's a race to your ankles like i don't understand and i'm just trying to like if you could if you have like any kind of you know this is kind of what happens with your nuts like you know what i mean just to kind of warn me let me flip know. it on you do boobs get saggier with time do they yeah. start to drop? Yeah. It's gravity. <laughs> this is the joy. Yeah. Age is a privilege, right? Not everybody yeah. gets to be 36 years old. And with that privilege comes certain perks. And that perk might be longer balls. I'm not mad at it. Don't be mad at it. That's <laughs> the thing. Okay. I think obviously, you know, kind of similar to boobs, wearing the right fitted bra for yourself, making sure that you're doing um, some form of care to ensure that it's not hanging loose and gravity doesn't have its way at things mm -hmm. can be helpful. But ultimately, I think embrace it. And unless you're wearing a kilt, who cares? <laughs> so I, I like to foreplay, um, or my type of foreplay is eating a girl out before, um, and I like to do it for extensive amounts of time. How do you stop from getting locked jaw in those types of situations? I just want to not do that. You gotta stay hydrated, bro. Is it, is it water? Staying hydrated is actually a really great tip. Just the same way that you get Charlie horses <laughs> when you're tight. Yeah. So the more that you are hydrated, the less you're gonna have that muscular tension. Okay. But also too, it's checking in with yourself because there's actually a condition called TMJ. And that's when your jaw and your skull, that tendon that joins together. Mm, right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little sore, swollen, or maybe inflamed in some way. So if you're seeing a persistent issue, that might be a doctor question. If it happens just once in a while because your partner's taking longer than normal to climax, yeah. that's when just switch the fingers for a bit. Switch it up, change up, have a toy on hand, but yeah. giving yourself that break, it's not one of those things you want to fight through because mm -hmm. it'll only make the <laughs> issue worse for yourself. Yeah. That couple seconds of break and then coming right back to it, but it's normal, it's a muscle, it's gonna get tired. Yeah. These were really refreshing questions and I don't wanna call them embarrassing because to me, the only thing that's actually embarrassing is allowing these things to be left in the dark. 
You know, if something is stopping you from having the best sex life or if you're curious about it, we should talk about it. And I hope you guys found it affirming how many head nods there were yeah. when you asked your yes, questions. Yes, yes. Seriously. Good job, team! Oh, I like that. <laughs> Thank you for watching Sexology. We'll see you next time. <laughs> yes.